Automatic.com, and I'm at the 2008 New York Auto Show. This car behind me, that's a Chevy Volt. You may have heard a lot about it, but you haven't seen much of it. Not yet, but you will. I'm here with Scott Suttlemeyer from Chevrolet, and he's going to tell us about all the different alternative fuel vehicles here at the 2008 New York Auto Show. Hey, Dan. Thanks for stopping by Chevy. You know, wouldn't it be great if we could all drive small four-door cars, kind of, you know, uh, a, a small economy sedan? The real problem with that, however, is everybody has different needs and wants, especially the needs. For instance, we can't expect a guy that needs a pickup truck to drive a small four-door. So Chevy being America's brand and one of the largest sellers in the world, we've made a commitment that we're going to look at several different ways to solve our energy problems in this country and to get away from our dependence on foreign oil. And if you look up here, we have gas friendly to gas free. And we have several ways of doing it. The first one is fuel efficiency. For instance, most of our full-size pickups, our Impalas and our full-size sport utility vehicles have what we have active fuel management. Now let's assume here on Long Island that you're driving down 495 at 50 miles an hour. In most cases, they're going to be running in four cylinders, but as soon as you need that V8 power, it switches back to eight cylinders. More importantly, it gets you better fuel economy. We talk about E85 ethanol. Ethanol is a renewable resource. It can be made out of scrap tires. We've entered agreements with outside companies to take industrial waste and be able to actually turn that into a renewable resource so that only 15% of it's fuel. And that's the quickest way that our country can change our reliance on foreign fuel. That's important. The next one is hybrids. We have the Tahoe hybrid right here. It's a two-mode hybrid. Remember we talked about needs. What about I want to carry eight people and I want to tow 6,200 pounds and I want to go skiing in Vermont for the weekend so I need four-wheel drive. you got to carry all this stuff. This yeah. vehicle is exactly that. That's a game changer. And the best part? It gets better combined fuel economy than a Toyota Camry four-door. How about that? And so, if I was reading correctly, this is 20 in the city? 20 in the city, 22 in the highway. 22 in the highway. That's pretty impressive for a vehicle that size with a six-liter V8 engine. And the, and the two-mode part of it is it runs on an electric motor or gas or a combination of both. We're the only manufacturer that has something like that. Over here, we have fuel cell vehicles. Right now, Chevrolet has over 100 of these Equinox fuel cell vehicles in service here in the New York area, in Washington, D.C., and in Los Angeles. And what we did is we went out to regular families and gave them the vehicle for three months. The beauty of hydrogen is the only thing that comes out of the tailpipe is water vapor. It basically runs on electric, but it's hydrogen that fuels it. And then, of course, there's the king here we call the Chevy Volt. 70% of Americans drive less than 40 miles a day. And if you drive less than 40 miles a day, you'll never burn a drop of gas. You'll simply drive it into your garage, plug it into 110, and it recharges overnight. Now, let's assume you decide you want to leave Manhattan and drive to Chicago in the Chevy Volt. The brakes have what we call regenerative braking. So every time you put the brakes on, that's recharging the batteries. But when the battery drops down to a certain level, a one, a one liter three cylinder engine comes on and all it does is charge the battery. So it's strictly a generator. That's correct. Now, the beauty of that is you could run it on E85 ethanol, you could run it on diesel, theoretically you could run it on hydrogen. We actually want to build this car in 2010. And in fact, last night we were blessed to have 450 members of VoltNation.com right here to talk to our engineering team and our vice chairman, Mr. Bob Lutz. So people came from all over the country. All over the world. All over the world. Yeah. So my point is, is you can't have just one silver bullet. At least we don't believe so. We believe that you've got to have all these solutions, again, to meet people's needs. Certainly. A lot of people are, are, are rapidly awaiting this. Oh, you bet you. And we're just as excited about it, and we want to be a leader. For more video reports and reviews, it's mpgomatic.com, where mileage matters.